It's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Does everyone know what NSFW stands for? If you don't, it stands for not safe for work, meaning that if it's caught on your computer screen or phone screen, there's a good chance you're going to be watching the next video from home. Usually because the video is too inappropriate for the work environment and you're fired. Always wanted to say that. So with that in mind, I give you a stern warning. This video of this golf club is not safe for work. Please bear that in mind before moving forwards. Al will not be made responsible for any job losses during this video. Sorry for the legal stuff, but you can never be too sure, can you? I mean, it is 2020. You could probably get sued for tying your own shoes. Okay, so now we're past the golf shed. Water shed, but golf version. Hilarious. If you took your clothes off, you would be naked, right? <laughs> Where is this going? If this iron had clothes and you removed them, what would it look like? Well, I have the answer. You ready? It's still blocked. Yeah, we've warned them. You can remove the sensor. There we go. That's better. Just add sexy music. Yes, it still has its underwear on, but not for very long. Half the video is literally just going to be of this. Epic music, eclipse. You're probably saying to yourself, yes, Al, we get it. It's a copper underlay, but you're not allowed to hit it. You see, we've built this. Yes. This head came at part of the point of sale, the copper underlay for the new MP20 blades. And we've installed a black dynamic gold tour issue S400 shaft. So we actually built this set because no one can get your hands. You can't make these. You can't actually buy these. Actually, it's going to be on sale. You can? Great. You could have told me that before I did this video. I'm not saying I was an influencer of this set being made, but my Instagram post to Mizuno may have helped. If you haven't seen that and follow me on Instagram, make sure you go over to at Alex Etches Golf. When this reviews out, I will be putting a post up of these irons on my Instagram. So make sure you head on over. Link is below and comment. I've come from the video. So the news we have right now is these are going to be released around the time of the Masters. Perfect timing. There are only going to be 500 sets sold worldwide. Extremely limited edition. 50 of them are going to be released here in Australia. 450 of them are going to be released in the USA. You lucky I didn't even swear. I said you lucky people. <laughs> They're going to be custom stamped, so obviously 500 sets are made, you get a set, it's number 23. It will say number 23 of 500, with it being a limited edition set. Listen to this one very closely. There are going to be no, no custom options. Sets are only available in 3 to Pitching Wedge. I'm going to be seeing only quite a lot right now, and this only is going to hurt left-handed golfers. I'm sorry, but it's only available in right hand. It's not my fault. So yes, no custom option. So you can't have this black shaft, but you will get this shaft in the chrome version. So it's the Tor Issue S400DG. It's not saying that you can't pull the shafts out, but please be aware, for us to get this shaft in this head, we have to bore the head out. Word of warning. The grip is a Z-Align cord blackout grip, and you get a limited edition, special edition makeup ferrule. This, this isn't one of those. This is just one of those standard ferrules. Standard ferrules. Ferals have never sounded more exciting. I'm not sure if that means it's going to be copper coloured or it's going to have the numbers on the ferrule. Whatever, it sounds cool. And there are going to be, no doubt, a few fakes out there. So Mizuno are providing a certificate of authenticity. And the good news is they aren't going to be expensive. I don't like to say this to you guys, but that was just a lie. I, I just lied to you. <clears throat> Per iron, it's going to be 495 Australian dollars. If you say it fast, you see, it sounds cheaper. 
495 Australian dollars per iron equates to a full set being just under 4,000 Australian dollars. You see the job that you just lost watching this video, you might want to go and have a nice chat to your boss to get your job back because you're going to need it. So we're very lucky that this review is mainly based on eye candy and not about performance. You see, I've been told, oh, well, multiple times actually via email and phone call that I'm not actually allowed to hit these. Yeah, I'm going to get in trouble for that. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is probably going to be as durable as a chocolate fire guard. But who cares? Because copper. No, seriously, I'm happy to do the research for you guys. Take one for the team and purposely visit all the parts of the face just to make sure it's okay. That hosel as well. Let's see how that does. It looks like Augustus Gloop's hand after he just dipped into the chocolate river, but a copper river instead. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, it's the equivalent of getting kissed by Scarlett Johansson. Shouldn't have said that. It's the equivalent of winning your first chess game. Yeah, chess. I actually really like chess. I'm not having to go at anyone who plays chess. So that was the hosel I was talking about. <laughs> it's not, it's not that bad. So if you didn't know already, and this is the first time you've seen this channel, seen me, I do play MP20s currently. Slight spoiler for what's in the bag, but it's true. I do play MP20s, the normal version. You can still chunk them, just to let you know. I thought I'd test that. But you look good chunking. I'm going to be loving my life right up until I get arrested by the Copperhead cops. So why did you commit the crime, Al? Content. You've been charged on two accounts of forgery. Forged, forged, forged irons, right. So that was near the hosel and quick durability check. Seems to be holding up quite well. I mean, those ball marks. Wow, that really is near the hosel. This way. Look at that. I mean, obviously did that on purpose. Hit it very well into the green side bunker. So if you care about the numbers, I'll stick them down below right now. The averages. Obviously, it's not about that. This is some weird spec club. I don't even know the length of it. It's like a four iron. It's very upright, but who cares? So I'm not telling you to go out and buy a copper set of irons. Yes, they should. Have you seen them? Shut up. I'm not saying that at all. For me, we don't get very many modern sets where I could quite happily say it's a collector's item, and I would probably chase these in a few years' time. This definitely deserves a place on the wall, especially in the lounge so everyone can see it. I'm sorry if your partners have a problem with that, but again, if you have a problem with that, you can email me at that definitely wasn't Al's fault at gmail.com. You see, I used to go around to my great grandfather's and on the wall would be a 1942 rifle, which he used in World War II. You know, probably some of the bravest people that have ever lived, okay? For me, when my grandkids come around and this is on the wall and they go, granddad, granddad, what's that on the wall? And I'd be like, look, grandkids, <laughs> That's what I went to war with. Again, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Very much appreciated. Something, again, very, very new. Let's just put this in front of the camera for one more time. We could drag this out for an hour. You know, it's classed as content, just moving this forward and backwards, right? I've definitely done worse content, let's be honest. Yeah, probably in a bigfoot suit or something like that if you have any questions on this set put them down in the comment section below again follow me on social media facebook instagram twitter all the links are down below i'll be looking out for you posting on that post on instagram at alex etches golf and of course if you're not already a member of team al make sure you hit that subscribe button thank you very much grandkids come around and this is on the wall and they say granddad granddad what's this on the wall and i'll be like that's what i went to war with grandson son I hope not. <laughs> Someone send help. Not jealous that 500 people are going to be getting these irons. <laughs> Enjoy them. But you look good chunking. You know, cold Sunday morning. We don't really get them in Australia, but in my days in the UK, freezing cold, icy, minus 10, Sunday morning, four iron knife. Who cares? It's made out of copper.